Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great. It's Papessa. So today we'll be making this delicious looking Ofe Unugu, also known as bitter leaf soup. And I'm going to be using a beef for this uh, recipe, but feel free to use any um, protein of your choice. Okay, so let's get started. Be using some palm oil and crayfish. I've got ogiri, which is a local seasoning to give it that aromatic flavor, and I've also got some dry pepper. I've got some bitter leaves, and I'm using fresh one, which I'm going to be washing um, off camera. But feel free to use the dry bitter leaf. I've also got some cocoa yams. I'm using some ooroko, also known as stockfish. I love a lot of stockfish in my bitter leaf soup, but if you don't like it, we can skip this part. I've also got some dried fish and I'm using um, dried catfish and some fish I have at home. Snails, I've already washed and prepped this one. Yeah, but if you don't like snails as well, you can skip this part too. And I've got some beef here. I decided to go with the ones with bones and a little bit of fat because that is what I want. Yes, I want to chew on the bones and then the fatty part really make it very delicious. But feel free to use any meat of your choice. I just wanted to leave it um, as simple as possible. I'm using some seasoning cubes and also salty taste. Please don't add onion to this soup. It is not needed. So I'm just going to start peeling the cocoa yam. If you don't want to use a fresh cocoa yam, you can also use um, the dried powdered one, or you can use just any thickener of your choice. Like um, some people use Quaker oat. You can use um, I think potato flour, yam flour even, because um, the most uh, important thing for this soup is that you use the bitter leaves. So I'm separating the bitter leaves from the stock and then just getting rid of the, the bad ones as well. And because I want it um, quite um, is it thready or ropey, so I'm not going to be cutting out, you know, like when you take out the, the leaves from the stock, you know, like the, the attachment there. Anyway, don't worry, you see, um, I'll, I'll show you when I get there. So I'll finish this and then I'll wash the bitter leaf off camera. So I'll add the beef into a pot, the stockfish, some seasoning cubes and a little bit of salt and I'll just cover this and I'll allow it to cook for 10 minutes because I want the um, beef to produce its own juice first. Then after 10 minutes, I'll add the snails, hot water, salt and then the cocoa yams and then I'll just allow this to um, cook for like 10 minutes. Then I take out the snails after 10 minutes because I don't want them to overcook. I will be taking out the cocoa yams and then I'll just um, put them in a blender, add some water and blend. But if you have mortar, you can also use um, your mortar to pound them or also you can use your food processor and i also take out the beef because i want to um, i want to grill them and the stock fish i'll be taking out the stock fish as well because i don't want it to be too soft this is the bitter leaf after washing as you can see it has loads of leaf veins which is the word i was looking for initially please don't get rid of them as this is the major character of this soup if you don't like it, you can just pick them out or just use scissors to cut them into tiny bits so you don't see, see them that much. But yeah, this is what it should look like. Please don't blend it. If you blend your bitter leaf, then it will no longer be ofe unugu. Then that means you're cooking black soup and this is not black soup. So I'm blending the cocoa yams now, as you can see in the blender, added some water and I'm adding the water at interval because when you're blending, um, you need to be adding the water, otherwise um, it will get stuck. So it has blended to a nice paste. Now I'm going to um, set it aside. So to the pot, I'm adding the dried beef, the dried fish, the snails, 
do you agree guys this thing smells so so bad but i love love having it in my bitter leaf soup some dry pepper some palm oil i'm not going to be using too much but feel free to use as much as you you like or as little as you would like stock cube crayfish some hot water i'll mix and then i'll allow the pot to cook for like 10 minutes because i want the palm oil to cook a bit guys just look at how beautiful this soup looks I'm adding the stockfish back into the pot like I said I love to use loads of stockfish when I'm making this bitter leaf soup The soup is bubbling away see all the bubbles and I'm adding my bitter leaves now I added quite a lot because I love to see a um, lot of it in the soup but if you if you don't like it that much you can just use a little bit and as you can see the thready things the airy in the soup yes I love that a lot Look at how beautiful this soup is. It's just a delight. Can you see the snails? <laughs> the stockfish. I didn't debone the stockfish because I don't want it all over the place. Even though I know I've got like um, a little bit here and there, but I just wanted to like have a big chunk in my plates, you know. And guys, I know I'm not sure if you remember that I told you that I love um, stockfish. Yes. I'm telling you now, I love stockfish in my soup. Some people don't like the smell, but I like the smell and I like the taste as well. So I'll cover and allow this to cook a bit. Guys, it's ready now. Can you see how beautiful this soup looks? Um, when I say I ate it, I mean like I really, really ate it and it was so well enjoyed. And thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up because it helps in the growth of my channel. Also become a part of this family by subscribing if you have not already done so. Share this video, comment and just let me know what you would like to have this soup with. I had my with Gary and then you stay safe as always. I will see you in my next one. Professor signing out. 